What's going on guys? Christian here from CK Wraps. Uh, so today I'm going to show you simply how to do some racing stripes down your vehicle. Today we're doing them on the side of this Mercedes, similar to the Mercedes that come with the stripes like this. Now it's going to be a double stripe. We're going to have a wider one, which is five inches, and then we're going to have a smaller one, which is going to be whatever space we desire. Now today the products that I'm using are knifeless tape tri-line, which is three filaments all in one, knifeless tape design line, and these will give you a nice clean cut. On top of that, you're gonna want some masking tape, some vinyl, whatever brand you wanna use for the most part. I mean, to pick something that's pretty decent. Today we're using Avery Denison Gloss Black. This is excellent vinyl for doing racing stripes or just for wrapping in general. And we need a tape measure, isopropyl alcohol, and a clean rag. We're gonna prep our surface, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure from either the center body line out or measure the whole hood, divide it in half, and then measure out from the center body line. You're gonna to wanna to mark your center body line. So I put masking tape in here and on both sides here, and we've measured 10 inches in from the center body line, okay? So 10 inches in up to this edge. It gives us a little bit more spacing right here, and we're gonna lay down our um, vinyl over top of this, basically. So. The, the design line I've put one strip down here and then the design or sorry the, the tri line we've put two rows here. So three of these pieces are going to actually create the spacing between the stripe, alright? It's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is because I want my stripe to be a certain width, I'm actually going to take two of these and eliminate them from the middle. So let me grab it here. So what I'm gonna do in this case is we're going to take, we're gonna get rid of this guy right here and we're gonna pull two of these pieces out right now. So the way I did that is I just, hopefully you can see. So I've cut one of the pieces away and then I can hold this and tear only the pieces that I want, which are these two in the edge. If I can get it. And if that doesn't work, so I'm gonna, I'll start at the other end, okay? Actually, what I can do is just make this even easier. Let's just do it like this, I'll cheat. So I didn't quite go as planned, it's no big deal, we can salvage it. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take both of these pieces and I'm gonna eliminate the gap right here. This is where our leftover vinyl is going to rest, essentially. Right in this gap. This is gonna give us our pin straight. Cool? So we see what's happening right now. Now, right where this black is, is gonna be exactly where our pin stripe stays, red. Oh, sorry, black, gloss black. So we're doing gloss black over satin black. Cool? Now, I'm gonna wipe down the surface just quickly so that we don't have any dust kicking around. And then we're gonna go and lay the knifeless, or the vinyl right over top of that. So if you guys like what I'm doing here, don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Cool, so this reaches no problem. I'm going to remove the backing, or the release liner, the backing paper, and I'm going to tack it to the top. And then we're going to lift this up and keep it up. Perfect. So we can put this down right now. 
What I'm also going to use right now, and uh, I'll thank Phil for the advice, is use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to lube the squeegee. This is going to help it glide a little bit nicer, and it actually will keep the surface clean as opposed to using something else. So I've never thought to use isopropyl alcohol in this situation. Uh, you might want to dilute it. Mine's sitting at 70% right now. So you might want to dilute it so that it doesn't evaporate as quickly. But it should last long enough to do a small section like this. Excellent. All right, so we're over top of our knifeless tape. Let's make sure everything's nice and tight. Perfect, perfect. And let's go through here. Good, we're looking good. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna trim off some excess. All right, I'm gonna roll this guy around. And we're gonna start at the top. Just so that it comes underneath all the way. The relief cut right there. There we go. We're good. So let's start at the top. Let's angle the camera up slightly. There we go. So I can start with this skinnier piece right here, which is the single piece of design line. I'm gonna get this guy out of the way. You take the tape off all at the same time, not a big deal. Remove both layers of knifeless tape. One is will sit underneath the vinyl, one will sit outside. So we need to remove both. It's very important. And then when we're gonna go over it, we don't wanna just we wanna come out with our finger or our squeegee. I can use my squeegee. This is how you wanna lay down the remainder. Alright, so let's do the fun part now. This is our gonna be our pinstripe and our uh, black spacing. So when it comes to the top, I need to pull all three of these at the same time, all right? Yeah, so all three are going, all right? So all three are going. I'm gonna take all three down, all the way down, all right? And as I get down under here, I'm gonna hold it. Cool, now we're gonna remove that center section. So we have our satin black spacing. It's looking good. I still got a little piece of knifeless underneath, so don't forget to remove it. There we go. And then we're just gonna go over and make sure that that edge is down before we move on. We wanna be thorough. And then we have our last piece of knifeless tape to pull, which is going to give us our gloss black pinstripe. I have a hard time holding the filament. I got it. There we go. Perfect. So let's get rid of the outside piece. And then we have one piece of knifeless tape still underneath. So we're going to remove that. Just 
just kind of saves you from laying down so many pieces of knifeless tape all at once, or sorry, one after the other. This is a bit of a faster process when it comes to doing this. With the tri line, as long as you're using the tri line, you're good. And you don't have to lay down so many pieces. So now we can remove the yellow masking tape and then we can trim between the hood. That looks pretty awesome. And we're just gonna cut down the middle. They'll give us enough to fold in on either side. I can open it up afterwards and clean it all up. I'm gonna give you guys a look a little bit closer in a second. So these are completely custom in a way, right? I didn't, I didn't print these out or plot, sorry, plot them out with a plotter. We just did it by hand. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of time. If you just do your measurements, that's probably the most time consuming part. The rest is very, very easy. Uh, guys, again, a link to everything that I'm using today in the description below, all the knifeless tape, even the masking tape, and uh, I mean, I'm sure you can find a tape measure yourselves with the vinyl as well. And uh, that's how you do racing stripes on your vehicle. Again, you can do these in any way you want. You can do wider stripes, thinner stripes, you can do 20 stripes, you can do however many you want. So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see some more videos, don't forget that subscribe button. Again, thank you for watching. Take care.